In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a project for part one of programming the PIC 16F 676 chip, which is used in the Merg Pocket Money Kit 9 four way traffic light. We start off by clicking on the yellow box with the square. This will bring up this box. We click on standalone project. Click next. This will take a few seconds. We then need to type into the device the PIC number, which is 16F676. Bring that up into the box. We then need to click the tool that we're going to use to program it. Now, in my case, it's the PIC4. So I'm going to click on this. Then I'm going to click Next. On this box, we don't do anything, so click Next. We're going to choose the compiler. I'm going to use the XC8 latest version. Click Next. We then need to call the, the project a name. So in this case, it's Merg V1. I'm going to leave the rest alone, click on finish, and then you can see here we've got the project. The next thing we need to do is click on source file, or right click, click on new, main C, name it main C, click on finish. And this is now creating a C file that we start off with. As you can see, it puts a basic where you can start putting your description and it puts in the void loop. And it also brings in this library, xc.h. To save time in the video, I've added some details in to the description and we're now going to create the configuration bits that we need for the chip to work. So in this version of MPLAB XIDE we need to click on production and set configuration bits. Down here in the bottom you can see this box up as has appeared. And basically we need to set up a couple of these things. Now most of them are going to be turned off. So I'll just quickly do that now. On some projects you may need to turn these on. The only other thing I need to do is set up the internal oscillator. Once I've done that, I need to click on Generate Code to Output. As you see down here, it gives us certain bits of information. We've already got include the library xc.h, so I'm just going to click and highlight the text to the top, Control C, then come up to the top window. I'm going to click just after the last comment and control V. That is now your PIC configuration set up, which takes a lot of the hard work away. Once again, to save time, I copied the code in already. But what you'll notice now, we have a define underscore XTAL frequency and we're setting the clock frequency to 4 megahertz. I'm also defining an LED1 on RC0, which is port 0 and is on pin 10 of the chip. This allows us to use a variable 
LED1 in the code a bit further down. Inside the void main loop or void loop we have then ansel equals 0x00 and this sets all the pins as digital pins. We then need to declare this tress C equals 0x00. This sets all port C pins as output outputs we have from 0 C0 to C5. So there's six outputs available on that port. You'll then see I declare port C equals OB and six zeros. This basically turns off all the LEDs. We then go into the while loop, which is going to run forever while the pick is powered, which in this case is via 5 volts. And the first thing that gets called is LED 1 equals 0. So we set it to off again, even though we've done it up here. We then use the delay function, which is built in, and it's for milliseconds, so it's set to 1000 milliseconds, which is one second. It then moves to the next line, which is LED 1 again, equals 1. In this case, turning off or on the LED, depending which way round your LED is set up. We then go into the delay again for 1000 milliseconds. The code or the program will never get outside of this loop. So it just goes back to the top and keeps running forever. Now on here you will notice when I was testing this on my board zero was on and one was off. Depending on the unit you use. We're now ready to build the code. So we come up to the top of the IDE box and we click on the little hammer. This will take a few seconds while it checks through things. Obviously, you may notice down here we've got a couple of advisories. Uh, basically, because it's an old pick, it doesn't fall in line with the C99 compliant libraries. This is not an issue. But you can then see the build has been successful for 12, 12 seconds. We're now ready to upload it to the pick. So we come up to here and you'll see a down arrow. We click on down arrow. This will take a little while to compile. Once you get this box come on, this is just basically checking. Are you sure you want to do it to this pick? You click on OK and then it will send it. Now in this case you'll see I've got a configuration issue. The reason being at the moment I have not got the board connected up. So I cannot actually run the code. Here you can see the LED on port C0 flashing off at the one second intervals as we expected within the code. 